Hey guys, it's doing ASMR things, and I'm about to curl my hair um, at my vanity, so I thought I would give you guys a little mini tour first. Uh, this is the curling iron I use. It's by Hot Tools International, and it's great. It's old, but it works really well. And it's a ceramic. This is my jewelry dish for the stuff I wear often. And my coffee, which I can't live without. <laughs> and um, I got this at the dollar store, and this, and these, and it just helps me keep my stuff in order. It's my hair clips, bobby pins, and stuff. This is that oil I used in that one video. <laughs> um, I keep my makeup by small versions of everything, and I, um, for when I bring it in my purse, I don't want to carry my whole makeup bag with me, but, um, so I'm about to do that too. I don't have any on today. <laughs> and some other stuff that I use. This I got recently as a gift, and it's awesome. Everything in there, um, is really cool. Uh, worked really well. The mascara. Um, and it's a great size too to bring in my purse. This is the photo finish primer, which, um, I don't, I didn't think I need, needed a primer, but, um, it actually has been really cool for, like, just making my makeup stay on. Um, it also came with this, which is, like, a, a lid primer. Oh, you can see my hand. <laughs> That's a lid primer. Um, I use it actually as a foundation, though, but, because I don't wear eyeshadow. A couple other things I really like. This is by Physicians Formula comes with two other ones, and they snap together like that, and um, I have not bags under my eyes, but dark circles, but they're like inherited, or whatever, they don't go away with sleep, it's just kind of how I look, but um, the, the better I sleep, the better I eat, they look a lot less... Um, intense, but if they do look bad, I use this. I just put this on first. A little bit of that. And I use that as a cheek highlighter, actually. Um, this is a box that my grandma gave me when I was a little girl. It's one of my favorite things on the planet. And I keep this in it. <laughs> and I look at it whenever I'm feeling bummed out is you will discover how truly fortunate you really are. Doesn't say when. <laughs> but I love that box. It's so cute. And my little brother got this for me um, on my birthday. We have a family joke where um, I say when I was a kid I used to have a little bit of a lisp <clears throat> and I would say Buff day instead of birthday. So I'd always be like, I'm the buff day girl. <laughs> so the term birthday girl is kind of a family joke. So, and um, I wanted to show you guys my drawers. I finally got these organized a little bit. Um, this is all my antibacterial hand stuff, but I don't really care about germs, <laughs> to be honest. So I never usually use that shit. <laughs> this I use on my elbows in the winter. It's awesome. This is some random stuff. Um, I really like this brand of lip gloss. I believe it's Estee Lauder. I have a million of them. I keep them everywhere. This I got it's from so long ago. It's from the body shop. It's like a little treasure chest of gold that you can just like put on your eyes or anywhere. It's, it's like so old, but I think it's cute. This you can't really find anymore. It's like I treasure it dearly. It's the skin lights. I think they have it in the States. I'm not sure. And um, when I do wear fake eyelashes, which isn't often, I use this. It's the only one that doesn't bother my eyes. Okay. It's Valentine's Day, so I'm wearing my, my love socks. <laughs> 
this as a Christmas gift. I would never buy socks that say love on them. This is my nail polish drawer for all my manicure stuff. And I have some funky ass nail files. And uh, some stickers I'm going to try soon with plaid. Kind of tacky, but whatever. And then I have my nail polish collection. I like these ones a lot by Joe. Um, LA Girl stuff is awesome. It can get a little dicey. I should keep that in the fridge. This bottom drawer is just my, uh, my blue drawer, my curler, my straightener. I keep, like, my hair stuff over there. This drawer is, like, um, just, like, health stuff rather than beauty, but I used to love this when I was younger and, like, 13. Put it everywhere. I always smell like baby powder. Oop. Condom. Unused. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, this is dry saw, which is really good. I used to sweat a lot when I was younger because <laughs> I was really active, so, um, it's really strong, though. And I'm worried about using it because apparently aluminum deodorant can give you, like, Alzheimer's, early Alzheimer's. These are the cotton pads that I like. They're the ones that don't pill when you use them. Um, you get them at Walmart. And I usually keep those. Another, um, this is another um, good one for dry skin in the winter. It really works and it's not greasy. And these I love. Actually, I should take one. Um, when I was a kid, also, my grandma used to give us these and we thought they were like candy. <laughs> you guys remember the Flintstone vitamins? Like, um, I used to eat those like candy. My parents would be like, oh, she's going to OD on folic acid. But, so that is my little vanity. This drawer is like, down here is all drunk, like drunk, junk. Oh, I'm going to have my perfume collection here. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's behind. I made like a makeshift shelf with some <laughs> plates. But I have, my favorites are Givenchy, Haute Couture. So forge. And then um, I bought this in Cheapy with fake brands. These with the black one there and then this one. Um, they're fake, like no name knockoffs, I guess they're called. Um, <laughs> I thought that was funny. It actually smelled good. Lancome Rose is really good. This Givenchy, I believe it's called the Artist Wait. Um, something like that. Um, and then there's uh, Royal Dalton, which is like surprisingly not as old lady as you'd think. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys was this. Every Valentine's Day, um, I've had, like, my best friend, my oldest best friend is from when I was, like, I mean, I met her when I was three, and her name is Casey. Um, and, uh, I would say she's my best friend, but the best friend that I, and we moved away, like, I mean, I moved away from where we lived when I was nine, but we still are very close, but the best friend that I see the most, um, she is awesome, and we've been friends since we were seven, um, and when we were kids, uh, I remember, like, she, so she didn't get a valentine from somebody, and she was really upset, so I, um, I drew her a picture of a rose, and I gave it to her, and it really cheered her up, so every year since then, um, and she doesn't date a lot, like, she's had kind of trouble with, like, some things in her life, and she's just not very good at dating <laughs> or being in a relationship, so, um, but she's a great girl, and it's just a bummer that, um, you know, sometimes it's just hard to see that if you don't give someone enough of a chance, so she's a really special person, um, love her to death, and I want her to be happy, and she tends to get sad on this day, so it's been a tradition that I give her a rose 
every year. This year, I'm too poor to go home by a rose. <laughs> so I decided to make her a card instead, and I just took some wallpaper. Um, like, it's a book about wallpaper. I just cut a design out that had a rose on it. And this is cardboard. Um, and I'll explain this, I guess. Um, we have an inside joke. <laughs> it's this uh, song by Lil Bow Wow. It's like, yo, 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 yippee, yo, yippee, yay, where my dog's at. Bark with me now. I don't know if you've heard it, but it's a classic. Um, so we just say that to each other a lot. So I wrote, yo, 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 yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Have a happy Valentine's Day, dog. <laughs> and then <clears throat> I uh, cut rose-shaped thing out of cardboard and then smaller pieces out of the same book as this. And then I cut out um, some green, uh, it's out of the same wallpaper book, but I just cut out some green stuff and made thorns and a stem and I got shit on it already, fuck. But uh, it says, love you D, it's an M, and then on the back I always write something cheesy, so this time I wrote Cheese Cards Incorporated. <laughs> cool, some stickers. I hope she likes it, so I gotta continue tradition. But you can see the bruise of my gum here. Um, well, that's gone down quite a bit since yesterday, so I'm happy. That was from my unfortunate spill. Damn you, snow. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and uh, peace.